Yeah, what's the what's the biggest hiccup you got in the industry about being a producer, like when it comes to like business part? Because you know it's, it's different things from being a writer to a producer to being an artist. Like, how does it feel to be a producer? Like, what's your hiccup? Because we don't really hear the producer side, hear the artists, hear the writers. Like, what's yours with a, as a producer? Like, man, this shit ain't right. I need, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like you know, with a lot of new producers, don't understand. Obviously, when you first coming into the game, I feel like they don't understand that. Like, bro, like. You could make a song today and like you might not get paid for it like months or like a year or maybe a couple years later. You know what I'm right. saying? And when I say paid for it, I mean like like in advance, you know, because a lot of times like when you're a producer, you make the beat, you get the advance, and then you also get like the back end, which is like the pub, the royalties and all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's just case by case, bro. Like like there's a bunch of songs that like the song already came out and then the deal. Meaning, when I say deal, I'm saying, like, the splits. Yep. Meaning, like, my percent, mm -hmm. the the artist percent, you know, maybe somebody that I collab with, their percent. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's just real business at the end of the day. So, it's, it's very, like, rare that the deal is already complete. Right. Complete before the song comes out. Especially you know now that there's a social media, people so rushing them out. Yeah, everybody trying to get shit out. And right. And to be honest, like, it's business and life is chess. So, if you make that a big deal... You're probably not gonna go too far. Yeah, they're gonna smush you game. out. Yeah, like you yeah, know, you, you fucking wanna, up. You wanna be easy to work with. All right, nigga, so. I got the beat. Relax. I'm gonna get you right, man. I need my money. Hey, shit, calm your broke ass down, man. Exactly. But you then don't the get day, the bag. It's up for you to keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? Let right. the song come out. Let it do. You know what I mean? Let it do what it's gonna do. Then it's up for you to like follow up. Like, yo, what's up with it? You know, with your lawyer. You know what I mean? So yeah, very important. Get your lawyer. Get your representation. So when it comes to like splits and like that, um, what's the percentage that the producer gets off a song? Like, um. From a writer, from a the artist, what what a producer get off of every like beat and song? Yeah, so the way it works is every song is a hundred percent, right? Yep. Um, so it's kind of like the producer gets fifty, the artist gets fifty. Like it's mm -hmm. very like fair vibes. Yep. But nowadays, like a lot of producers are like collabing. For with, sure. Like, you know, um, I ain't gonna lie. Nowadays, it'd be like eight people in one beat. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really like to participate in stuff like that because yeah. it's like. The more people, the less money you're Yeah, I know you get. want your money, bro. I yeah, see Richard like, Millie on the motherfucking goddamn <laughs> big goddamn, you know, stalactites on the neck. Yeah, you bro. want your money, brother, and you should deserve that, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You earned that shit, brother. Yeah, appreciate you. 